Welcome everybody, welcome to my channel. You're gonna see me um, at a couple of thrift stores. I did get some footage that you're gonna see in just a few minutes at the first thrift store. It's just a local little thrift store um, in my town. And then the second trip was to just good old fashioned Goodwill. I only had 20 minutes in Goodwill. So let's see what I found. Here we go. So here you see I'm looking at the shoes. I'm in this local thrift store. It's pretty huge and they have quite a bit of uh, inventory and product. It's just kind of set up kind of odd. It's um, kind of a zigzag kind of building and you just kind of walk into these buildings. It's almost like a warehouse. It's really chilly. They don't have heat in a lot of the areas. You can see here I was looking at a Bowdoin skirt. It was like, I don't know, $10, $12, $11.50. So obviously I passed. They're pretty expensive in here. And just run of the mill bread and butter type items. Most of the clothes are color coordinated with a certain color tag, but they're like five and six and seven dollars. The shoes aren't marked. You have to get them marked when you cash out. So I think I bought one pair, which you'll see in the haul. I have found um, some really neat items in this place. I only go about once every three or four months. It's about a half an hour from my house and it's just kind of, it's just kind of an odd setup. So it's, you kind of have to have a lot of time and I often don't. So I happen to be on this side of town. So I went in there. I wanted that one shoe that you saw, it was a yellow croc, but I couldn't find the other one. I did end up getting those. You'll, you'll see in the haul, kind of a spoiler alert. It's just kind of a hodgepodge of an area, just tons of stuff everywhere. No rhyme or reason how it's set up. It's just set up. I did like several pairs of shoes, but I didn't know how much they were. So I didn't end up getting them and they were all pretty worn. Would, would definitely require some cleaning. And I'm trying to get away from doing a lot of cleaning. I just have so much inventory to get processed. And so I'm still looking in the shoes at this time. Just kind of making sure I didn't miss anything. Going along, looking everywhere possible, at everything possible. And it's, it is kind of hard to to look and to video, and, and that's why the camera's a little shaky. Apologize for that. It's just really hard to do both things. I think I'm back to looking for that other shoe again. And there were several other people in this area looking at shoes as well. So I was trying not to film them. I do end up going over to the um, purse section after this. And things are not organized like at like a Goodwill. It's just not organized like that. Um, here I'm looking at the blouses. They have some blouses or sh sweaters, shirts, just all kind of mixed in together. It's, it is divided by men's and women's. Now I'm in the, in the purse area, and this was a pretty large little corner of tons and tons of purses, but I don't find anything that I think is gonna be worth waiting to get a price on. I found a few things but I did not end up getting them. Spoiler alert. I definitely spent a little too much time in this area. I should have um, left a little sooner because I knew I wasn't gonna buy anything in this area. I'm just kind of showing you. They have everything. They have housewares, they have tools, they have men's stuff, uh, just 
tons of everything that you could want. Books, pictures. I was trying to find out what this was a cute little purse. I couldn't find a brand on it. So I am being rather picky these days. So I did put that back. You can see I have a few things in my cart. And the, there is, right near this, the, the purse section is where all the hats are. And they have cubbies and cubbies of baseball hats. And I actually started going through those. Uh, spent some time looking through the hats. Okay, everybody. You just saw me. Some footage of me in a um, local thrift store. It's a really big, like, warehouse type thrift store. And it was freezing. So I only stayed for about a half an hour. I only picked up a few items. The way they do it there is they price all the big stuff, but then all of the other random stuff is not priced. And you don't know how much it is until you check out, which is kind of eh. I'm not real crazy about that. Because you don't know like what anything is until you get up there. So um, this, the first few things that I bought, I will, um, from the store, I'll show you. I bought this Ted Baker uh, men's shirt. It's kind of like an army green. It feels kind of like a rayon. I just thought it was really cool. It was really super, super soft. I don't know what the fabric content is. Let me see here. It is, oh, it's polyester. Okay, it's polyester. It's polyester. Okay. It doesn't really feel like that. But it is. I paid $3.50 for it. I thought that that was an okay price. I'm not sure what I'll get for it. But yeah, I thought that that was nice. I've not seen anything like that. I picked up these two hats. I paid, I think, a little too much. I paid three bucks. This is a Carhartt hat by Carhartt. And then this is a Detroit Tigers hat. A general, um, genuine merchandise fan favorite one size fits all we are in michigan we already have um tigers hats but i thought this was kind of a cool just a generic type um hat it was a nice condition so i paid three dollars each for those now this i thought was the find of the day this vintage purse was twenty dollars which is about what they cost here, okay? Um, I thought it was pretty. I will clean it up. I thought it was quite nice. It's just the small one. And um, I thought it was quite nice. And if I can show you the Creed, this is the Creed. It does have a number. So I thought this one was in good condition. It's just kind of a crossbody. And um, I will clean this up. And I think it will go, it will do well. The last, then I bought these. I paid six bucks for these. They're in pretty good condition. Women's, Nike, slip-ons, size eight. You know, these will sell for probably $20, $25. I probably wouldn't have paid that much if I would have known. But she priced them when I got up to the register. So I was like, okay, you know. Um, there was a line and I didn't want to be a pain. So I just took them. And then the last item that I bought there was this. I'm sure you guys recognize that label. It is this purse. Now, it's a really cool black fringe shoulder bag. I don't believe that it's leather. It, it doesn't really feel like leather. And it doesn't say leather on the inside. So I, it's got a made in China sticker in it. I don't think it's leather. Um, but I paid $8. And I thought for sure I could get $25 because it's free people, hopefully. 
if it was leather, I could definitely get more, but I don't see it marked leather, so. And also, I figured that this would be, it would go nice in my eBay store and in my Poshmark closet. So, there you go. I thought it was kind of cool. It's kind of a bucket bag, like a like an oval bucket bag. And um, it's in good condition. So I will get that listed quite fast. Okay, there you have it. I didn't buy very much. I only bought a few um, pieces. I was really looking, um, the prices were kind of high. And so I was really looking for pieces that I can't, um, that I don't run across all the time. So thanks so much for watching. If you learned something from this video, please consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. I have lots more good stuff coming. Thanks so much. See you on the next one. Bye.